A lot of people don't know, but every year, many Imperial College London students head off for a year of study at a European university as part of the Erasmus programme. Some go to Germany, to France, to Italy or to Spain. We wanted to know how this experience was for them. I studied at the University of Padua for a year. I was able to study courses in Italian, in the Italian language, and I did all my exams in Italian, which I thought was a great opportunity to really be immersed in the language as well as the culture. I primarily chose it because I wanted to experience something really different, challenge myself in a way which I felt I wouldn't be able to do at home um, by living completely independently from family, friends, sort of my whole network here at Imperial. To experience a different culture, live in, in a foreign country and a different way of life. I chose to go abroad to France in my third year of studies and I went to Toulouse, which uh, is in the south of France and there is a specialised aeronautics school called uh, Supero and that's where I spent my year abroad. I just spent my last year in Freiburg in Germany doing a year in Europe as part of my degree programme. I think the experience was invaluable to my personal development. I'm 100% happy that I went and I seriously recommend it to everyone else that's considering it. I know that in the UK not so many people are keen to go abroad. In comparison to other countries it's more unusual and I think that's a real shame. I think there's a lot you can gain from it so yeah, I'm really glad I went. Many of the students at Imperial were under the impression that it might be more expensive to spend a year at a, a European university living in the country and were worried about their finances. Having lived in London for the past like two years before that, the, um, the rent was significantly cheaper. <laughs> when you do Erasmus grant, you can use that to kind of supplement your experience with kind of trips around the country and around Europe and stuff. What about the living costs compared to London? Much cheaper, of course. <laughs> um, especially in the south of France, I mean, property prices are much lower. Uh, and we stayed on campus halls, um, and they were much cheaper. There were even subsidies for, for us. The accommodation is so much cheaper, so my rent in Spain for a month was less than a week in London. So you can't even compare that. Um, so financially, uh, I was much better off in Valencia. We also wanted to know if they'd enjoyed the year, if they had fun, and if they managed to make local friends. Increasing my social circle. I changed house because the first house I was living in wasn't that social, it wasn't uh, the best living environment. And once I changed that and you become more involved in the community there and make an effort, your enjoyment just grows exponentially. I could mention three advantages of the Yin Euro programme. By going abroad, personal independence. This is a point that is often highlighted to us in feedback that we receive from the students. I feel much more mature after having been abroad. Um, I feel much more um, flexible. Uh, I feel much more able to adapt to different situations. What I've taken away is that I've become more, um, I would say, adaptable to new environments, especially foreign environments. By going abroad, they demonstrate um, inner flexibility. They demonstrate that they can adapt to a new country, to a new culture, to a new language. And this, later on in life, when they want to apply for other jobs, gives them a competitive advantage over their peers. Finally, the Year in Europe program in physics gives them experience in carrying out research in a foreign lab. My, my advice would be to um, get out of your comfort zone as soon as possible when you are there because there is so much more that, that you don't know and that scares you initially. Um, but as soon as you, as you manage to overcome that, that limit, um, it feels great. I went to Lausanne because I knew that there was a very important laboratory for the subject I'm interested in. And by going there, taking an extensive project, I was able to create contacts. And I'm also going to apply for a PhD with the same supervisor with which I did my project abroad. So I really like the environment, I really like the work I was doing and I might actually consider doing it again.